So hello guys, I'm back again with another tutorial and in this tutorial I want to be showing you how you are going to make user record management system. So as you can see we have this and whatever happens here is that every user that registers will only view whatever they have posted and nobody else's alright. So I have two tables, I have the users table and I have the registration on the post table. So we want to delete this because we want to make another one, right? And let's read these posts. We are treating as a user. So what we actually want to do, we want to make an, uh, a page. So I have these two things here, posts and users, but we're just going to make it from scratch again. All right. So okay. So save the changes. Our table is blank all right so new project and let's call this rad okay and let's create a new database and call it rad create it then right so we need to have a user table then we need the name we need the phone we need the email and we need the uh, low so this is where the magic actually happens all right so we have the roles and we have everything else email phone all right so let's create password here and let's create the roles here so there we go and let's add another table and we call this table as posts okay so we want to create uh, the title here and the post okay all right so save that and there we go so we want to remove that we want to remove that and under the posts and users so what we actually want to do let's just publish this first real quick and you see we have the post and the users all right so what we actually want to do we want to make an authentication system so what you want to do is that you want to come to users let's give it name uh, for the password field for the user id leave it as the id and the email leave it that way profile photo we don't have any field that handle like that so we leave it like that then let's view this in firefox actually like doing it in firefox all right so there we go uh don't worry about that don't worry about that because i'm using the same old thing so all right, so PHP Rad preview in browser. All right, so there we go. But under the you see we have the laws field here. So what you actually want to do, we want to make a drop down here so that a user can select this. So let's go back to let's go back to pages. Let's go to users and whenever we made the authentication system these views actually appear so we want to go to register page let's go down to roles make that a select then we want to manually add what we want to be having so let's add admin and let's add a user here then also under the add page of this we actually want to add something else so the users we have the list page account view and all of that so let's go to this let's go to post the users we already have that let's go to add page whenever any the admin feels like he wants to add a new user so let's go to source let's do again the admin and the user all right so we have that now let's go back to posts here Let's preview this first and little this down here you can see we have that admin and user so let's go back here and add a new user let's add to user whatever let's add user add to user .com. let's go to password those we're just going to give them a user submit 
So there we go. We have the post. All right, as you can see this. So let's make this uh, HTML editor field. So let's go back to pages. Let's go to posts. Let's go to add page here. And let's click on post here and make this a text area. Then make that as true. Let's go to posts. And as you can see, this is now as true. Okay, so close that. Now, what we want to do now, we want to allow these permissions here. So let's click this and go back to rows. As you can remember, we made the rows. You want to delete that and you want to add another one. Since we made the admin, remember the capital A. And we also need to add the user, remember the capital U. Then for the admin, you actually want to toggle check everything there. For the user, you can also check that because we don't have that much of many fields. Then reload those changes. There we go. Now, this web want to actually make our thing happen. So as you can see, it's checking out from the post table. So we need a field that will handle this. So what we want to do, we want to come back here to the pages field. Let's go to the pages. Let's go to posts. And let's go and add two fields here. Let's create posted by. So this one will be handling all of that. And that's okay. So let's go back to posts. Click under the posted by. Now you want to make a default value of user name, all right? Then you just need to preview that. Okay, so let's go to user record management. And at this, let's, let me show you how you're going to do this real quick. So, as you can see, under the post, a user can actually edit. So, we don't want them to edit that. So, what we want to do is that you want to make that as a default value of username and set it to read only. Preview that. And whenever you click this, as you can see, you cannot delete it. So, let's try and post something here real quick. So, let's go and say, hello. And let's go back here and say, Hi, user. Okay, so submit that. But then again, we also need to close that. Let's log out and register another user so that we can have a clear view of what I'm talking about right now. So let's go and create a user called Jim. Let's give him a random number. Jim at gym.com. Let's give Jim. Jim. We also need Jim to be a user. Okay, as you can see, Jim can view anything, everything that is in the system. So let's add this so we can differentiate. Hello, I'm Jim. Okay, so we are posting at Jim. Alright, there we go. And as you, if you come back here, you can see also the user will also be viewing uh, Jim's post. So there we go. So we want to allow every user to only view whatever they posted. So let's go to posts here. We'll be using this field and posted by the one we just created and set that to name. And we also need the admin to view everything here. So save that and just need to reload this. So as you can see, hi, I'm user. Let's reload this, James. Hi, I'm Jim. So every user will only view whatever they posted. So that's how you make it. And uh, let me let me know about what you think about this tutorial down there. And uh, maybe in the near future we'll be making more tutorials like this. So have a good day, guys.